This is a demonstration of the Punnett Square interactive illustration from SciencePrimer.com. The illustration shows how a Punnett Square is used to determine the genotypes possible when two individuals are mated. A link to the illustration can be found in the video description. Five controllers are available to change the illustration environment. The selectors in the top left control the parental genotypes. The button on the bottom right changes the influence of the red allele from complete to incomplete dominance. The buttons on the bottom left show or hide information about the parents and the possible offspring. The ability to toggle this information on and off allows you to test your understanding of the relationship between parental genotypes and the contents of the Punnett square. When the page first loads, the illustration shows an image similar to the allele genotype phenotype illustration. However, more than one individual is shown. As with the other illustration, the organisms are plants and the gene of interest controls flower color. In the beginning, all the flowers are gray and no information is displayed. The two plants outside of the Punnett square are the parents. The plants in the squares represent potential offspring. As shown, both parents are homozygous dominant, meaning both have two red alleles and should have red flowers. We can see this is correct by clicking the parents show button. The illustration updates as the parental genotypes are changed. The alleles change both below the parent and along the edge of the Punnett square. Writing the alleles from each parent along the edge of the square is the first step in filling it out. Clicking the Offspring Show button shows the possible offspring genotypes. With two homozygous dominant parents, only one genotype is possible. Homozygous dominant. Changing the parental genotype alters the contents of the squares. The genotypes shown in each square has a 25% chance of occurring. If two squares contain the same genotype, their probabilities are added. In the case of two heterozygous parents, there is a 25% chance that any one offspring will ha be homozygous dominant, a 25% chance it will be homozygous recessive, and a 25 plus 25 or 50% chance it will be heterozygous. If the red allele ex exhibits complete dominance, the phenotype probabilities will differ from the genotypes. In this case, 25 plus 25 plus 25, or 75% probability of a red offspring, and a 25% probability of a white. With incomplete dominance, an intermediate phenotype is possible, and the genotype and phenotype probabilities will be the same, 25, 25, and 50.